When I first saw this monitor here, my first thought was I need this in my home setup. Now I've got heaps of gaming monitors at home already, but I definitely don't have anything quite like this. The Samsung N5 is not only a monitor, but it's got heaps of functions of a TV and a PC. It's Robert here from M-Wave, and today we're gonna see if this smart monitor can do the job replacing all your screens at home. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. Alrighty, so we've got a couple of steps I've got to do first, and it all starts with opening this box right here. So, we have the base, the stand body for the base there as well, and in this bag here we have the menu, a remote control, power cord, HDMI cord, batteries, and some screws. Alrighty, so now that it's all out of the box, let's do a quick assembly. Now here we have it, all set up and ready to go. So we're going to start with my favourite feature. Now this is something that I personally haven't experienced before in a monitor, and it's the voice assistant. How's the weather? It is sunny and 25 degrees right now. The inbuilt Bixby voice assistant in the remote lets you easily adjust settings like the screen display, volume, input source, and even open up apps, which leads us to our next feature, Netflix. Powered by Tizen, the M5 lets you binge watch all your favourite streaming shows like Netflix, Prime Videos, YouTube, and the app menu lets you download even more options. With inbuilt speakers, full HD, 60Hz, HDR10, and a VA panel, the M5 had me binge watching to my heart's content. I was actually quite impressed with just how loud the speakers were in here, but of course, you can always add in a soundbar if you do want to increase your audio experience. With Smart View and Tap View, mobile connectivity is made super easy simply by tapping my phone to the side of the screen, allowing me to share my mobile screen to the big screen. Connecting through the SmartThings app was also an option if I was already on the couch and definitely not getting back up. But it can't always be fun and games. Sometimes I do actually need to do some work. And with mobile wireless connectivity through DeX, I can simply add a mouse and keyboard to this monitor and turn it into my own personal workspace. I can open up documents through the Google Drive, making it super easy for me to continue my work from home. I can also access almost all my files from my phone, like photos, videos, music, and heaps of apps like Spotify, Discord, Instagram, and even Snapchat. Now the work doesn't stop here, with the M5 allowing remote access to my files through Office 365. So no PC or even mobile needed, just an internet connection through the Wi-Fi and I can easily continue my work on my own. Of course, being a monitor, you can still connect a PC through a HDMI cord through one of the two HDMI 2.0 ports out the back. A wide connection provides less input lag, so working through an 8 millisecond display if you do want to play a game where reaction time matters, I would strongly recommend a wired connection. Don't forget to turn on game mode if you do want to plug in a console and play. Now for all you Apple users out there, with integrated AirPlay, you can extend your workspace with a MacBook, iPad or iPhone, extending a bigger viewing screen for work, games, photos, videos, music and more. So during my time with the Samsung M5, although I don't feel like it can completely replace a PC with features like DeX and Office 365, people working from home can still get the office work done without the hassle of taking their laptop home. Now on the other hand, if the features we mentioned before are what you're looking for in your TV, then they can definitely work towards replacing yours, helping you downsize and save space. If you'd like to find out more about the Samsung M5 and the additional features that we didn't have time to cover today, then click on the links below. Hope you're all having a wonderful day, and as always, thanks for watching.